What if your dog knew a behavior that allows you to check their ears, their eyes, and their entire body, all voluntarily and stress-free? Interesting? Helpful? Jose from Train Me Please here. Let's talk about it. The other day, I was checking something on my computer, and this popped on my screen. When I saw that video, I knew I had to share it with you. This behavior is a chin rest, and it can be used as the foundation for many fabulous procedures, such as medical examinations. So I got in contact with Tisha Mason from Behavior Antics, who taught this so beautifully to her dog Asgard, and she agreed to share some footage and some step-by-step -step guidelines for how to train this behavior. In terms of equipment, you will need a treat bowl with lots of treats, a stool or cushion, a towel and a clicker or verbal marker. When you start this training, position yourself so that the stool is between the dog and yourself. Step 1. Use a treat lure to guide the dog's chin onto the towel. Click or say yes and reinforce this position. Repeat multiple times. After reinforcing a few times in this position, say find it and toss a treat away from the stool to help set your dog up to be guided immediately back into the correct position, still using the treat lure if needed. Click or say yes and reinforce. Find it. Yes. Yes. Gradually, your dog will understand what to do and will automatically offer the chin to towel behavior without the need for the treat lure. Step 2. Build some duration to the chin rest by gradually increasing the time between the chin rest and your click, making sure you are increasing in small enough intervals for your dog to succeed. When building duration, it is also totally okay to sometimes offer some easier repetitions before going back to the ones with increased duration. We've got one more step to go, but first, could you quickly hit the like button under the video? That helps making this content reach more people and more dogs. Many thanks. Step 3. Introduce your hands by showing your dog your open hands with no treats in them. Click or say yes and reinforce if the dog kept their chin on the stool. Progress to adding small touches on your dog's ears, body, and click and reinforce if they maintain the chin rest. If they are constantly lifting their head, go back a step and reinforce the chin rest with smaller movements. So, in the end, we can have a behavior that looks like this. Isn't that fantastic? I definitely think so. Question for you. Are you going to teach your dog a chin rest behavior? Let me know in the comment section below. A mega, mega thanks to Tisha for helping me with this one. She's in Victoria, Australia, just like me. And if you want to get in touch with her, check the description under the video. Oh, and uh, do you know how a clicker works from a scientific point of view? This video here will answer that question. Obrigado, pessoal, e até a próxima.